hello friends and welcome to this video so this is the chapter number six titled as adaptive filters we have covered all the concepts related to the design of the finite impulse response type of the adaptive filters and also the infinite impulse response type of the adaptive filters so fir standing for the finite impulse response you can also categorize to be the non-recursive type of the adaptive filters and for the IIR standing for the infinite impulse response we can have the another name as the recursive type of the adaptive filters so both the major domains we have addressed with variety of techniques initially for the design of the FIR adaptive type of the filters we have addressed the steepest descent algorithm and the LMS algorithm along with the various versions after introducing the domain with the adaptive filtering system identification and thereupon for the design of IR filters we have the RLS algorithm so based on to this particular understanding we are going to have a practice problem so this is the problem number for the adaptive filters where the knowledge of the steepest descent algorithms and the design of the winner type of the filter where the wiener hop equations are made into the use we are going to see so let us begin to start with this problem we shall see the problem statement and let us see how the solution can be provided to the asked questions so let us begin with the topic So here we start with our topic topic titled problem number one adaptive filters so let us see the problem statement the problem statement starts as suppose that the input to an adaptive linear predictor is white noise with an autocorrelation sequence denoted as r suffix x of k is equal to sigma suffix x sigma is squared and further multiplied to del of k so this is the given information and now the exact problem statement part starts with so it is divided into the two parts we have part a and part b to the problem number one so the part a is solve the normal equations and find the optimum pth order of one step linear predictor w in the part b the question is minimize the mean square prediction error using the method of steepest descent with a step size denoted by mu which is equal to 1 upon 5 times it should be into sigma suffix x squared and an initial weight vector denoted by w suffix 0 is equal to the transpose of 1 comma 1 comma 1 and so on up to finally 1 for the order of the filter here there it is one more question accompanied to this part b the question is does the method of steepest descent converge to the solution found into the part a so this is the complete problem statement we get back to the given details here see the given details are we have to make consideration of the adaptive type of a linear predictor and to such a block or the device here we have to make the input of the white noise that input signal or the input discrete time random process you can say which is of the white noise type is having the autocorrelation sequence denoted rx of k is equal to the sigma x square multiplied to del of k so del is mostly representing the impulse response or into the discrete step we can say this is the amplitude one for the time equal to zero only so this is the impulse response here and this is in multiplication to sigma suffix x squared x is into the suffix which is for the input signal for whatever the discrete time random process we have the variance in the suffix that notation is provided so this is the variance for the input signal or the input discrete time random process x of n in general so from this knowledge of autocorrelation sequence we can have the determination of the autocorrelation matrix as well the determination of the cross correlation between the desired signal 
and that of the x of n that is the input signal here so let us find the solution to part a in the solution to part a we have to consider the normal equation that we have learned we have a focus on these normal equations uh, with respect to the linear prediction so that we have covered into the topic number one two and three of this particular chapter here so solve the normal equation and find the optimum pth order one step linear predictor denoted by w is the question here so see from the given information we can come to have the information figured out as the autocorrelation matrix for the input is denoted by capital r suffix x and this is equal to sigma suffix x squared the variance multiplied to the vector capital i here so this is the autocorrelation matrix along with we have the cross correlation information also figured out from the given details the cross correlation is denoted by small r suffix dx which is equal to zero here and now when we make the use of standard normal equation that we have seen into the topic when we discuss the adaptive filtering system identification and the further fir adaptive filters the substitution of the rx the autocorrelation matrix and the cross correlation will lead to the solution of the wiener hopf equations and this will simply give us w which is the pth order one step linear predictor that we have obtained equal to zero here so after the solution to part a we have part b to be also solved in the part b we have been asked to minimize the mean square prediction error using the method of steepest descent that method we have covered as topic number 3 of the current chapter here steepest descent algorithm it is basically so there it is the mean square prediction error the minimization we have to carry out if it is the least square error there it will be leading to the rls algorithm and with little bit of modification we have the versions for it so currently the minimization of mean square prediction error either it is steepest descent or lms so here it is already specified that we have to go with the steepest descent algorithm see the step size is given to us mu is equal to 1 upon 5 times sigma x square and the initial rate also so let us make the use of it and answering the question does the method of steepest descent converge to the solution found in part a in the part a just now we have found the solution that w is equal to 0 so according to the steepest descent algorithm the update equation of the weights is given as w sub x n plus 1 is equal to w sub x n minus the step size mu is multiplied to the square bracket that involves the autocorrelation matrix representation capital r sub x x multiplied to the weight vector w sub x n and this term is having then further minus sign uh, the subtraction of the cross correlation representation small r sub x dx here so as we have to substitute the autocorrelation representation that we have also utilized for determining answer for part a capital r sub x x is equal to sigma sub x x sigma is squared multiplied to capital i vector and the cross correlation information r sub x dx that is equal to 0 the substitution of these two into the host equation will give us a more simplified equation update equation according to this steepest descent algorithm so it will be w sub x n plus 1 equal to 1 minus mu times sigma sub x x squared and this difference is further multiplied by the weight vector w sub x n here now as we have been provided the step size denoted by mu so mu is equal to 1 upon 5 times sigma sub x x squared and when we have the time evolution of the w sub x n weight vector we obtain w sub x n is equal to 1 minus 1 by 5 the bracket is having the power small n and it is further multiplied to w sub x 0 so we have the w sub x 0 also provided to us as a transpose matrix having all the elements equal to 
so when we have this to be n tending towards infinity so that particular limit offers the value going to zero here so zero it was the solution to the part a w is equal to zero so here it is also verified so to the question that it is does the method of steepest descent converge to the solution found in part a the answer is yes so this way we have solution to both the parts a and b of the problem number one which is based on to the understanding uh, design of the wiener filter along with the use of wiener hop equations and further the use of steepest descent algorithm for designing the filter of the type fir so this was problem number one by the next lecture we shall continue with the same chapter adaptive filters to practice one another problem so it will be the topic titled problem to adaptive filters thank you